what is up Finn fans, straight from the phone, did a video earlier today, or released a video earlier today, me, Big O, talked all about a lot, so if you haven't checked that video out, go check out earlier today's video, but there were some moves made today, I know, not a Deshaun Watson trade, that still hasn't happened, and I don't think that's gonna happen until next week, um, there's a lot that needs to go into it, and I don't know if they're gonna let a situation pan out where then, you know, they, they're fig figuring out the Sean Watson situation while getting ready for Buffalo. I think if it does happen, it would be Sunday night or Monday. Um, but it hasn't happened yet. Not saying it won't happen either tomorrow or whatever. But if that does happen, then I think you'll see Jacoby Brissett play Sunday against Buffalo, which I don't want to see that. Regardless of how you feel about Tua, I would so much prefer to see Tua play against Buffalo, see if he can get some redemption from last week, last year. But that being said, there were some moves today. Well, yesterday there were some moves. And then there were some more moves today to counteract yesterday's moves that I wanted to make a quick video straight from the phone, tiny microphone and all. Give you guys a little of my thoughts on it, a little perspective on it and all that stuff. So essentially yesterday the Miami Dolphins placed Malcolm Brown with a quad injury and Jason McCourty with a foot injury on IR. And I'm hearing that the Jason McCourty injury is a little bit more severe um, I don't know if his is going to be just a three-week IR. I've heard that he's going to, you know, he could have foot surgery and he's looking at specialists and doing stuff like that. So the Jason McCourty injury might be a little bit more severe than the Malcolm Brown injury. That being said, Dolphins need to, you know, address the safety situation. Even though we do have Javon Hall and we do have Brandon Jones and we do have Eric Rowe, they bring in uh, safety Seldrick Redwin from the Carolina Panthers practice squad. And today they announced that they they signed Duke Johnson, Duke Johnson to the practice squad. So, um, I'm find that very interesting. I you know Duke Johnson when he was on Cleveland, he went to Cleveland in 2015. Uh, Duke Johnson was a guy that I would I would I wanted to come to Miami, and then at one point, you know they bring in uh, Bradley Chubb. Yeah, Bradley Chubb. My, I'm wrong. Is it Bradley Chubb? Uh, but they bring him in, and all of a sudden, Duke Johnson's like, I don't know if I want to be here anymore, yada, yada. But he played – Duke Johnson was on Cleveland for four years, Houston for the last two years. He's not bad. You know, he's he's not an every down back. Uh, he had 100 rushes in 2015, but he only had 379 yards off of 100 rushes. So he had 3.6 average. But after that, 4.9 yards per average, 4.2, 5.0, 4.9 – so he does, he's a pretty decent back, he's a veteran back, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets, you know, promoted from the practice squad to the active roster sooner rather than later. He just needs to understand this offense, but I don't even think anyone understands this offense because what is this offense? But that also brings in the question, Dokes, my boy Patrick Laird, with Malcolm Brown now on IR and they bring in Duke Johnson, I think one of those two is going to get promoted from the practice squad to the active roster, which makes me very happy because we all saw what Dokes could do in the preseason. He showed very good flashes of you know being a very good running back. And same thing, we all know what Patrick Laird can do. And I would love to see him get back on the active roster. Maybe I can get him back on the channel when he gets back on the active roster. So, you know, that's some things. And then also uh, yesterday, Brian Flores mentioned the uh, Dieter and Fuller that they can be activated at any time from the um, uh, IR. So depending on how they're feeling, if they're feeling better, again, Fuller it was a broken finger and Dieter it was something else. Uh, if they're feeling better, then all of a sudden they can be brought back up. And then maybe Fuller playing, I can actually play with Tua and maybe that dynamic there, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm not going to predict the future anymore. Because if you guys watched uh, the Big O show in my uh, video from earlier today, we talked about how we gave this regime the benefit of the doubt because of what they did going from 5 and 11 to 10 and 6 with what the team did last year um, and how quickly they turned it around this year when they made such suspect moves. We were kind of like, well, you know, trust the process because they took us from this to this. Trust the process. And at the end of the day, it wasn't the right thing. And maybe now our trust is even more jaded and all that stuff so we'll see how this all pans out but I just really quickly wanted to come on here and talk about Malcolm Brown Jason McCourty going to IR Malcolm Brown might be a three-weeker but I don't think Jason McCourty is 
bringing in Sheldrick Redwin from the Carolina Panthers practice squad, the safety, bringing in Duke Johnson. Uh, that one intrigues me. We'll see how that all pans out. And then Dokes and Lair potentially getting called up. And then Dieter and Fuller potentially coming off IR. So hopefully we get healthier. Hopefully we get better. Hopefully we win some games. There's still some very winnable games coming up. Houston Texans, the Jets, the Panthers, the Giants. Those are all very, very winnable games. Uh, but like I said in Monday's video, that um, season's over because it's you have to win all the rest of the games to have a chance to make the playoffs. But now it's at the point where it's just to have a better record than the 49ers. <laughs> That's all I care about. But other than that, guys, I will see you tomorrow breaking down the film. I'm actually right now looking at the film when this stuff came out, so I wanted to make a quick video. Looking at the film, uh, noticing some things, but tomorrow I'll release the video breaking down the film of uh, Sunday's game. The good, the bad, the ugly. But other than that, guys, the usual, stay classy. Fins up.